Hey guys, Sableye VDC here, back again with another episode of Crazy Climbing. Today, we're just going to finish things off, and if this episode does end up going up on Halloween, happy Halloween to everybody, hope you have a great night, and obviously these ghosts on my screen here will hopefully celebrate it with you. So, we're here. If it doesn't go up on Halloween, well, then it'll be up on to Tuesday, two days before Halloween. So, have a good happy Halloween from me in advance, but most likely going to be up on Halloween. But besides, regardless of that, we're here, we've got Garatina, Lunala, Sableye, Mimikyu, Trevenant, and Gengar. Ideally, I want to use... I want to use Trevenant. I haven't used it yet. Of course, the team's been flowing pretty well without it, so... I'm going to take that as maybe I shouldn't really be using Trevenant. I know it's not really the greatest in this format, but... I do think it has some merit versus Kyogres, but I haven't really had much of an option to play those. Had one Kyogre and it was beside a Rayquaza. Not the best, but... We are going to find Porygon Z VGC from the UK with a rating of just over 1600 I believe and he's going to be rocking the Shedinja. So Trevenant might actually make an appearance right here. And the main reason I say Trevenant might make an appearance is because if he soaks, one I have Horn Leech with Trevenant and two I would have Leech Sea with Trevenant. I also have a Lunala though, so Lunala's ability just a lot, or Moonguy's Beam just goes right through the ability, so also not too concerning there. So, I'm quite content. I honestly think we don't have a bad matchup here. I'm definitely 100% gonna lead Gengar. There's no doubt in my mind I lead Gengar, That's, that was never a question. Gengar is the lead. I might actually maybe bring Sableye here. I feel like he wants to bring Mence as well though. Like, do I just go Gengar Lunala? What's stopping me from that? Nothing. And then Mimikyu I like having for the Z-move. And I almost do want to go Trevenant. Like, I feel like if I could get Trick Room up... I don't know, though. Like, he's got to... Like, if I kill Xerneas, Garatina's the better play. Yeah, if I kill Xerneas, Garatina's the better play. I'm going to go Garatina again. So once again, rocking the same four that we've basically been rolling out with the last few episodes. And uh, we're going to see if we can uh, hopefully, hopefully snag a win here. We've got two legitimate wins, one disconnection as a win, so we're technically 3-1 right now. Ideally, I'd like to get another win so I can say that, you know, at least three wins were legitimate. But he is just going to lead to instant Zern right now, and I'm going to bring out Gengar Lunala. So, I'm quite content with this. So what I'm going to do is he can't fake out, right? I think I'm going to perish. Now the question becomes, I could psych up the Lunala as well. Uh, psych up the Xerneas as well with my Lunala. So because that's an option, I might actually go for that instead. But I feel like Xerneas wants to swap out. Because I feel like Xerneas wants to swap out, I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to keep the trap on. And I'm just going to Shadow Ball Moongeist Beam the Xerneas. He might protect. If he protects, okay, good for him. He's actually going to stay in here. So, a bit annoying that he stayed in. I mean, that actually super surprising like I'm shocked like I'm seriously shocked but Gengar is gonna go for the shadow ball if we get the special defense drop I won't be mad but honestly we probably won't uh, Lunala is faster than the Xerneas gonna get this Moongeist beam off this gonna do relatively probably more than the shadow ball did but I don't think it'll pick up the knockout Moongeist beam connecting into Xerneas not gonna pick up knockout and he just sits there and clicks Geomancy why? beats me don't ask me why he clicked Geomancy I really couldn't tell you. But, okay. Just stays in front of the Gengar and clicks Geomancy. Now, this is where I wish I had taunt. Because I would have taunted there. But, I should have also perished. Should have trusted my gut. That's alright. Clearly not playing too well right now. Incineroar gonna go for what exactly? Gonna pop the Z-move. Alright. I believe if I'm correct, Incineroar Z-move is not copyrighted either. So, that's good. I haven't been punished yet for it. So, I'm gonna, gonna roll on the fact that it's not. Alright, Malicious Moonsault coming out, going right into Lunala, so this will not kill me now, which I'm quite content with. This will not kill me because I am Colberberry, so I will indeed survive this relatively well. Yep. And by relatively well, I mean I will just hang on. Anytime you survive a dark, like a dark type Z move with Lunala from full, anything, anything you survive, that's, that's well. You take that well. That's been taken, like, really well. Anyways. Um, now does Xerneas protect here? Maybe. Maybe I feel like he could protect here to chip my Gengar. So I'm going to go for that read here. And if that's the case, I'm going to go for the Psych Up. 
Because if I get the psych up, we saw it last time. Actually, Xerneas is not going to click protect here. So we're probably just going to see a Dazzling Gleam of some sort. Xerneas is going to go for Dazzling Gleam. That, that's surprising to me. Like, I could have just protected Lunala, killed the Xerneas. I'm overthinking things. I, I gotta stop overthinking things. Like, I feel like, don't you protect Chip and Sin Chip Gengar? Right? I don't know. Clearly, I don't know anything. Uh, Mimikyu's gonna make an appearance now, so... Not the end of the world. I'm pretty content right now. I'm gonna Sludge Bomb this Xerneas, pick up that knockout, and I'm gonna click for a Sword Dance here. Just because I know out of past experience that the plus two will indeed kill this Incineroar, and right now, that's become my next goal is I have to find a way to get rid of Incineroar. If Xerneas protects, good for him. I feel like he'll protect now, just to, just basically to prove me wrong. But then next turn I'll just protect Gengar, but Gengar probably dies here, right? Xerneas just gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam. That's not gonna kill the Gengar, which is fantastic. I can still does over half, that's, that's, that's hilarious. You know, for a resisted attack, that's pretty sad. Disguise is gonna break on my Mimikyu here. Gengar is gonna drop a Sludge Bomb, that will indeed pick up the knockout onto the Xerneas. Yes, indeed it does. A crit didn't matter. I know for a fact it didn't matter. Sled Bomb normally does around half from there. And Mimic, you're gonna drop a Sword Dance, and we're gonna see what my opponent wants to go for. I mean, honestly, I think I'm in a decent spot. Darkest Lair, that probably takes out Gar uh, Gengar here. And then he wants to bring in Groudon, but I have Giratina in the back with Earth Power. So, theoretically, I'm not in a horrible spot. I'm quick and I'm pretty happy right now. Giratina coming in. Even after all those bad, like, reads on my end, I guess you could call them, or overthinking things on my end here. But, Giratina coming in right now. And he is going to send in Tapu Fini. So, with Tapu Fini coming in here, I'm not concerned at all. Um, I could Z-move this Tapu Fini. I'm tempted to do so as well. I am very tempted to just Z-move this Tapu Fini and Earth Power the Incineroar. I don't see a reason not to. I don't see a reason not to, so Earth Power is going into Incineroar, and this Z-move is going straight into Tapu Fini here. I feel like Incineroar is more likely to switch out to preserve the Intimidates. He does indeed swap out Incineroar. Is it going to be that Groudon? It's Shedinja. Okay, so is he going for the straight up Soak right here? He is going to go for that Soak, so now I probably just lose, right? I don't think I can hit him. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I can hit him. Because I have Earth Power, Shadow Ball, and Draco. I can't hit it. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to forfeit here. Unless you guys want to see me play it out and try to tie and try to just stall out this Shedinja. But I mean, I'm not sure if you guys really want to see that. Like, literally, you're going to have to stall it out until it struggles. And I'm not sure if I even can. This is going to kill the Finny, though. <laughs> yep, that's going to kill the Finny. So this is going to pick up the knockout here. Little, little thumbs up. Finny's gone. Wish it wasn't Scarfed. Normally they're not Scarfed on uh, Zerndon teams, but that's alright. We, I do think we lose this because Earth Power is going to go into the Shedinja's Wonder Guard, and I can't touch it at all right now. This is why keeping Lunala around might have been an option. Like, might have been a better play. But Incineroar coming in right now. I will kill the Incineroar for general purposes, and then I'll move over to the Shedinja later. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I would see the Leech Seed Trevenant would have come in handy right now. Like, if I would have had Trevenant instead of Giratina, I would have won this game. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought it. But, play rough. Into Incineroar here. Like, the moment he reveals Toxic, this game's over. But if he doesn't have Toxic, there's a chance. I wonder if he's got Ally Switch, too. If he's got Ally Switch, it'll be annoying. Nope, Mimic, you're going to be allowed to get this play rough off into this Incineroar. Going to do just over half. Yep, and Earth Power should indeed pick up the knockout. I believe, and depending on it, unless it's AV. Incineroar does indeed drop there, and now it's just Shedinja versus the world. I'll play this out until I see Toxic. Goes for Toxic. I don't think I can stall him out anymore. I can't heal this Toxic in any way, shape, or form. Like, I don't see a way I win this. Like, he's just going to Toxic Mimic you in two turns. I mean... I'm going to double check my move slots here. Earth Power, Draco, Shadow Ball, Protect. Can't touch him. And I believe I'm just Shadow Ball, Sword Dance. I don't think I can touch him either. I cannot touch him either. So, I am indeed going to forfeit this game. Just because... I'm not going to make you guys sit through here and watch this. Because I know I'm going to lose in the end of it. So, that's useless. We are going to take an L there. Unfortunately, just couldn't... Uh, 
I don't know why that sh that uh, Finny was scarfed. That Finny's never choice scarf on Zern Dawn teams. Normally it's a bit, uh, you can't really afford to be scarfed. But I guess he's mixing things up there. Wanted to go with the choice scarf. That's fine. It's a val valid strategy. People have been using it all season. But I did just get shit into it, but that's all right. I'm going to go for one more here to wrap up this episode here. So we got ghosted by a ghost, basically. Oh, we found somebody. All right, we're back. We got a 1459 opponent from Japan here. So pretty cool team. We do see the Kyogre. We do see the Trevenant. So Kyogre, uh, not Trevenant. That's a Rayquaza, right? It's green. It's green. It's close. We got Kyogre, Rayquaza, Cresselia, Landorus, Tapu Koko, and Lopini. So I'd normally say our matchup is pretty good here. Well, but based on the fact that we lost to the Rayquaza last time, not really feeling too, too promising. But you know what I like? There's no Incineroar. There's no Incineroar. I'm going to straight up lead Mimikyu. I think it's the by far the best lead I could lead. He has Intimidate, but the Intimidate doesn't scare me. I almost do want Trevenant in the back. I think my goal should be get rid of Rayquaza. Trevenant basically wins this game. So that's what I'm going to go for. And I'm going to bring Lunala as well. Unfortunately, Sableye, you're not going to make an appearance in this. Uh... Oh, actually, do I bring Sableye too? Like instead of Lunala? I don't know how I justify that though. Like, I can't justify bringing Sableye over Lunala. So, Trevenant, come on through. We'll rock out with this and see. Hopefully, we can get a win. I feel like we should be able to. I don't really see a reason why we can't win this game. So, this will be happy. It'll be 4-2 and two if we can win this. So, wouldn't, be, wouldn't argue that. Alright, so... Wonder what the, the question is, what do they lead? I feel like maybe Rayquaza Landers could be a decent lead for my opponent. Lopini Kyogre. I'm okay with that too. I am okay with this as well. So Kyogre is going to Primal Revert here. So I think what I do is protect Mimikyu. And just go straight for the... I think a Shadow Ball makes more sense into Kyogre. I think it does this. It'll help me figure out the speed tier of this Kyogre. Figure out how much damage, how bulky it is potentially. So I am just going to protect. He might fake out Giratina, but I feel like you fake out Mimikyu here. Personally, I would fake out Mimikyu if, my, if I'm my opponent, but maybe I'm overlooking things like I did in the first first battle. But hopefully that's not the case. Alright, so... Mimikyu going to go for protect. Hopefully we're going to see the fake out go into Mimikyu here. Lopini is going to go for the fake out. It is indeed going to go into that Mimikyu, which is fantastic. Kyogre is going to click Water Spout, so going to do a big chunk of damage to this Giratina. I'm not the bulkiest of Giratinas, but I do resist, so I shouldn't do half. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. But Giratina going to go for a Shadow Ball here. Maybe get that special defense drop. Not that it matters, but what I want to see is the damage. Okay, I think that's Z-move range from Mimikyu here, so I'm going to go for it. If it doesn't kill, well, that's just unfortunate, but I, I believe it should kill. And do you think a Draco kills Lopini? I'm go for it too. I'm gonna go for everything. We're just gonna we're gonna YOLO it right now. Opposing Lenny, Lopini is gonna go for Encore, so thankfully I'm going for the Z move, so the Encore will not matter this turn. So actually I actually forgot Lopini even got Encore, so that was actually a risky play on my end. But we are gonna pop this Z move off right now. And I guess I'll just put the thumbs up early, because you know, why not? <laughs> but we're here, Mimikyu's gonna surround itself with its Z power. Unleashing the full force Z move here. And like I said though before, like on Halloween, yeah, I'm 100%. I made my decision. This will be up on Halloween. But hiding in the forest, hiding in the forest, Kyogre's gonna, it's gonna come out. It's gonna be like trick or treat. And uh, I'm gonna be like, tree. This is gonna die. <laughs> Things just gonna die. Can this get the knockout? There it is. I gave Mimikyu the, uh, the okay. Kyogre is indeed going to drop right there from the Z move of the Mimikyu. And will Lopini also drop from this Draco Meteor? Heavy Rain has lifted. Garatina is going to drop a Draco right now. Is it going to pick up the knockout? Honestly, I kind of hope it doesn't because Lopini's not putting on a lot of pressure right now. But it's looking, it's going to pick up that knockout. So, very nice two knockouts right there with uh, Mimikyu Garatina on the field. They're feeling it on Halloween night. They're, they're ready to go. That dumb shit ninja. Why did that shit ninja have to come through? Why was that Finny Scarf? They're never Scarf on Zern Dawn. At least not from my past experience. I mean, I mean, maybe there is a team floating around, but that's alright. That's that's in the past. So he's got Landers. He's got 
Rayquaza coming in for the last two slots. What I am going to do is I am going to click another Draco Meteor, just because all I want to do right now is chip this Rayquaza. Once I kill Rayquaza, I've won the game. I am going to swap out. I'm going to bring Lunala in. Uh, actually, why would I swap? I can just click Protect. I'm forced to click Protect, obviously, because of the Encore. So I will indeed do that, and I will drop a Draco into Ray. It would probably actually be a pretty safe swap in for me, too, if I really wanted to, because he's probably going to double Giratina right now. But I'm not the end of the world. Landers is going to go for Earthquake, so that actually doesn't touch Giratina, which is fantastic. But I don't know if... He's actually not going to Mega. He can't Mega his Ray. Hold up. Things get things change now. He's going to drop a Crunch with this Rayquaza. Is it going to be enough? It isn't going to be enough into my Giratina. So knowing he can't Mega his Rayquaza, things get a little bit more interesting. It is indeed Life Orb. So Lunala comes in now, and like I said, all I have to do is kill Rayquaza. The moment I kill Rayquaza, I've won the game. Now he knows Mimikyu can't protect, I am just going to stay in and burn another protect. If he targets it, great. If not, that's fine. And I am going to go straight for the... I gotta go Moongeist Beam into Ray here. He's Life Orb, which is a bit annoying. Mimikyu's going to get it for the protect, not going to get it. Lunala is going to be faster than the Rayquaza and get this Moongeist Beam off. Interesting. I don't know why I'm faster than this Rayquaza. I know he's not Mega, so maybe he's not max speed. But Lander's going to go for the knockoff. Colba Bear going to come out first, so that's fine. Lunala here, going to drop. Well, not drop quite yet. Colba Bear is going to weaken the damage. Rayquaza is going to drop a crunch, and I'm dead. Okay, so Lunala going down here. Maybe I should have swapped into Trevenant to preserve Mimikyu and break out of that Encore. But I think Encore ends this turn anyway. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it ends anyways. Encore does indeed end. So fantastic here. Trevenant coming out. And things get interesting now. So what I do is I just double the Rayquaza. Pretty sure that's all I have to do. I'm going to go Shadow Claw into Ray, so I don't miss, and I'm going to go... Uh, Horn Leech might not pick it up, though, but after damage it will. So I'm going to go Horn Leech into this Rayquaza here, and that should hopefully pick up the knockout. I feel like he just kills Trevenant here, and then he plays the Landers versus Mimikyu endgame, but at the end of the day, we'll never know. Hopefully he targets Mimikyu here. I really wish Trevenant had Protect. This is where I wish I could have put it on it, but... Mimikyu still having its disguise is super, super good. Landorus is indeed going to go for knockoff. Going to knock off Mimikyu. That's fine. He can't knock off his E move, and it's all he's going to do is break my disguise. So maybe he is indeed doubling up this Mimikyu here. Mimikyu's disguise is busted. Mimikyu's actually faster than that Rayquaza. So this game's going to be over right here. This ends the game because Mimikyu is faster than that Rayquaza. That is one slow Rayquaza. So Horn Leech going out. Going to connect into uh, Landorus here. That's actually a two hit knockout. So. What I am going to do, oh it's a crit, okay, but either way, I am going to let Trevenant pick up this knockout. I'm going to go for Leech Seeds, and I'm just going to click Sword Dance a bunch of times with Mimikyu here. Just because I want Trevenant to be able to get this knockout to say Trevenant did something. And unfortunately, they are not going to let us do that. They are going to forfeit, and the uh, ghost types are going to prevail here on Halloween night. Well, one and one, but prevailed in the end. at the end of it all, we prevailed. It, it wasn't late enough early on, but we're here. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I'll be back. Probably, if this does go up on Halloween, we'll be, I will back, be back tomorrow at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with a new team, brand new team, start November nice and fresh. But thanks for watching this one, guys, and I will see you guys next time.